Today at Innovation Team, we have our Basketball Insider Show. Our basketball analyst, Fuad Akini, is going to break down the game from the high school level all the way to the pro level. And he's going to get everybody ready for the All-Star Game. Hey, what's the latest with you, Fuad? Oh, man, I'm just here trying to finish my undergrad, get, some, get my GPA high, get some good stuff on my resume, and get into a good grad school. Okay, okay. So I know you attend the real HU, Hampton. How'd you feel about the game against Morgan State? I feel like we, we played good throughout the beginning stretch of the game, but towards the end we got a little lazy and complacent. Ouch, ouch. And it got to a point where we were, we were playing so badly and that the, we weren't shooting free throws well enough that they were able to come out and steal the game. Okay, okay. Those little mistakes at the end they weren't able to capitalize on. Yes, sir. Okay, on the pro level, which team would you say was the most positive surprise of the season? And why do you think they were so positively surprising? I feel like the Portland Trailblazers were the most positive so far. And I feel like the two main reasons for that for the way that their season is going is with Marcus Aldridge and uh, Damian Lillard. Okay, those two guys are playing extremely well this year. Yes, Damian Lillard is playing very well and Marcus Aldridge is having uh, a career season, I feel like. Okay, interesting, interesting. In terms of the All-Star game, which selections did you like and who do you feel, who do you feel like they got snubbed a little bit? Okay. Oh. I feel like people that got snubbed, I feel I could say on the East, I would have to say Lance Stevenson because he's having a, I feel like he's having the most approved players. And for the coaches not to have selected him to the All-Star team, I feel it was kind of a slap in the face. Are you saying that because you're a Brooklyn guy? Okay, yeah, that's true. The coaches usually are a little more insightful about how much a player is impacting his team. Um, can you tell us some of your favorite memories from All-Star Weekend's past? Uh, my favorite memory, one of, would be the Nate versus Dwight Howard uh, dunk contest where Nate came out in the green mix jersey and the kryptonite sneakers. And also when Chase Budinger had the blindfolded dunk You feel like he got robbed a little bit, Chase Budinger did. Definitely, definitely. Okay, that's 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 good to hear some Chase Budinger love. Well, in terms of the high school game, what do you feel about Isaiah Whitehead coming out of the famed uh, Brooklyn uh, Lincoln Lincoln High School where the aforementioned Lance Stevenson went to, Sebastian Telfair, Stephon Marbury. What do you feel about Isaiah Whitehead and his his ability to kind of reach the level that some of those predecessors had reached? Um, I feel like playing at a school like Lincoln, you have the confidence, the skill set, you know, you have the tools needed, you have the size, the athleticism, you have all the tools needed really to play at a higher level only because Lincoln is one of the top schools in New York City. Okay. And for you to be a star at Lincoln means that you can go pretty much Okay, okay. No, that definitely makes some sense. Um, in terms of uh, what you're studying at school, can you explain that a little bit so the listeners can kind of get a little more insight on you as a person? I 
have a lot of a lot of knowledge in terms of the NBA. Not necessarily more towards other sports like baseball or football, but a specialty in the NBA. So one day I plan to be a psychiatrist that also works with athletes, not only a clinical psychiatrist. Okay. Also, in terms of young people today, speaking on uh, the social sciences and psychology, can you name an area where some of these young people can should really emphasize and put their focus on to have a better holistic, positive uh, adolescence, you know, up until early adulthood? Okay. Same mental health and mental stability, I feel like the stability aspect is, you know, the choices you make, the things you do, the things you don't do. Um, and health is more the way you take care of your mind, not only your body, but your mind, like the things you watch, the things you expose yourself to, uh, the people around you. I feel like that all plays a major part in the development of the young adult. Okay. No, that definitely, definitely makes sense. Well, is there anywhere where anybody can, you know, get in contact with you or get some insight on your basketball or psychology knowledge? Okay. All right. Sounds excellent. Fuad, thank you for coming on and thank you for sharing some of your insight with the people out there. All right. Thanks. All right. Well, you take it easy. Take it easy. All right. Here at Innovation Team, stay tuned for all the things we have coming up. Our next interview will be a tech interview, so stay tuned for that. Check out our website, innovationteamx.com. Check out our blog at innovationteamx2.blogspot.com. And if you're a high school team or a high school band, check out our fundraising page. And also, anybody can check out our philanthropy page to see what we got going on and see how you can help others in the world. Innovation Team, out.